Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday devotional time. If you have your Bibles, turn to Isaiah chapter 35, and I'll be reading verses 4 and 5. Isaiah 35, verses 4 and 5. And this is what Isaiah writes. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Now verse 5. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. I was looking at that text, and I began thinking about how sometimes in life we have a bad day. Have you ever had a bad day? I think all of us have had bad days. But sometimes those bad days go into bad weeks. I remember in 2018, on New Year's Eve of 2018, we were just having a lot of issues with Cindy's leg and um, uh, there were some blockage that we knew about and it was just a just a bad year. And I remember as, as New Year's Eve came of 2018, I made this statement. I simply said, I can't wait to get 2018 behind us and I can't wait for 2019. Well, when 2019 opened its door and we walked through, what we found in January and February and March was even worse than 2018. So I, I remember vowing, I said, I will never again say on New Year's Eve, I can't wait for that year to be ended and for the new year to come. Simply, we just anticipate for a new year to come. We hope good things will come but not necessarily. And again, it comes back, have you ever had a bad day? Israel, the nation of Israel is having a very, very bad day, the people of God. And what's interesting about this text is that there was an army and it was the Assyrian army that was just pounding away at Israel. They're praying, please God help us, please God save us. And the Assyri Assyrian army is just just decimating uh, the people of Israel and all seemed hopeless but then God sent a message to his people Israel through the prophet Isaiah and again it's that passage that I just read to you where where he says say to those who are fearful uh, uh, who are of a feel fearful heart be strong do, do not fear here is your God he will come with vengeance with terrible recompense he will come and save you then if you jump up to uh, chapter 37 of Isaiah, chapter 37, verse 36, listen to these words. Then the angel of the Lord set out and struck down, listen to this, 185,000 in the camp of the Assyrians. God sent an angel to destroy the people who were decimating and just devastating the people of Israel. God was already working and sent that angel to kill 185,000 people. You know, so many times in life you just feel like God isn't listening or God isn't uh, perhaps in, in control. But you know something, when you read stories like this, you know that God is in control. You know that God is already working. There's a, there's a famous passage, and I have to look on my refrigerator, it says, don't worry about tomorrow. God is already there. That's a passage that Cindy has uh, had on that ref our refrigerator, I think, for all, as long as we've been married. Don't worry about tomorrow. God is already there. No matter what's happening in your life, you have to trust God, that God's going to bless you and keep you and sustain you. And you're going to go through trouble sometimes. You will. That's, that's a fact. But I guarantee you, as long as you put your trust in God, have faith in God, I guarantee you he'll make all things right and he'll be with you. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. You allowed Jesus to become one of us. And all we have to do is believe and have faith in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. That's who God has sent to us. And we
we have to believe and accept him as our Lord and Savior. And I guarantee you, you're, when you go through those troublesome times in life, you will be blessed. Will you join me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I'll see you all tomorrow night. God bless you.